I want to thank uh, the organizers for the invitation. So uh, the the subject, uh, the, the object that I'm going to talk about are quite classical. So these are the surreal varieties. So uh, what's the surreal variety? Well, uh, it's just you taking uh, algebraic surface and fix a line bundle. Uh, looking at uh, the curves in this line bundle, which I want to quite this thing to be uh, irreducible, reduced. And with a fixed genius, okay, fixed geometric genius. So I uh, I put this everything inside this uh, with a fixed genius into this uh, variety. It's called the surreal variety. It's a very classical object. So uh, for a uh, surreal variety, we do have some kind of the expect behavior. Uh, it's like uh, it's it's a very naive uh, consideration. So if you take uh, a general member in this surreal variety, we expecting well. Almost uh, that this is actually not uh, not necessarily true, but we're expecting uh, this thing is uh, nodal. Okay, so we're expecting uh, it has exactly uh, this uh, the as the genius of this uh, linear system uh, minus the geometric genius. So expecting we have these delta nodes. So the uh, that's uh, one thing. Uh, the other thing is uh, we are expecting uh, the dimension of this thing. Uh, is uh, the dimension of the linear system minus delta. So it's, it's like uh, if you each node should impose uh, exactly one condition on the uh, on this linear system. So we're expecting you have this dimension. Obviously, this actually will fail in many cases, uh, especially when this X is a general type. Okay. So so that's the uh, the, the the very classical object. Uh, it's called a variety. So now. Uh, I'm most just interesting things which over the K2 surface. So look at uh, uh, the surreal variety on the K2 surface. You fix an, uh, a line bundle and look at uh, the curves with a fixed genius uh, in this line bundle. So uh, for a K2 surface, so a K2 surface for a surface with a trivial conductor bundle and with H1 OX to be zero. So uh, for K3 surface, uh, if you look at, uh, for K3 surface, if you fix a big net uh, line bundle on X, and if you look at dimension of this linear system, uh, it's actually exactly given by the arithmetic genius, so PA, uh, PAL. So if you look at the expert dimension, uh, it works out uh, exactly equal to G, okay? Because dimension of the linear system uh, is exactly uh, the arithmetic genius to get the uh, uh, the dimension, expert dimension is the genius, uh, geometric genius of the curve. So, uh, if uh, if this uh, if if this uh, this uh, the uh, if the well, there's no guarantee that this uh, this variety will be uh, non-empty. But if it is non-empty, uh, the some uh, deformation theory of uh, curves will tell us will tell us that this uh, the every uh, unit component should have the expect dimension. Okay, so that's the uh, from the deformation theory. Uh, it will tell us will tell us that uh, that the uh, the expert dimension uh, will hold for every uh, component uh, if uh, the the variety is non-empty. So uh, let me talk a little bit about the, the uh, non-emptiness of the surface. Right? So, so there's no guarantee that actually you fix a line bundle. Uh, the, you can find uh, a fixed uh, a curve with uh, these fixed genes if you. You pick any number of g between zero and uh, the arithmetic genius of L. Uh, there's no guarantee you can find such a curve. So uh, that's uh, that's called the existence of uh, uh, genius G curve on, on, on uh, K3. So let me say something about this non-emptiness of this uh, the variety. So the uh, in the end, I think uh, the everything will come down to find the rational curves because if you have a rational curve, uh, that's a genius zero. Uh, you can all, you can deform this rational curve. Basically, you can deform the the, the, the smooth out the singularity to get a, a, a curve of high genius. So uh, for for general case three, uh, this is uh, not that hard. I mean, uh, you can find a nodal curve, a nodal rational curve on every uh, in every linear system and uh, uh, on a very general case three surface. So that's uh, well. Uh, so so. From that nodal nodal rational curve, you can deform those nodes and uh, make sure you get uh, any genius. Okay, you can get a uh, curve of any genius uh, in this way. So uh, that's the uh, for very general 
uh, you can all uh, the, the, the serial variety is always uh, not empty, okay? Always not empty for any linear system. Now, uh, if you go to the uh, the ask the, the question for arbitrary K3, it's become very difficult. So uh, there's, uh, this is a collection of, uh, uh, well, it's a, a, the, the, the whole program of the existence. Uh, it's actually a collection of these works uh, from various people. Uh, first is uh, if you have a K3 with some extra structure, uh, if you K3 or K3 with infinite automorphism. So for this K3, uh, you can, uh, there is uh, uh, this kind of, uh, uh, well, for, uh, for a different K3, you have this uh, self rational map uh, from X to the self. So in this way, you can produce infinite many rational curves in this way. So uh, this is by Bogomol Chinko, then Hazard, and uh, Tayo very recently for over uh, carries the P. So for such a K3, uh, they indeed, uh, you can find infinite many rational curves, okay? Even many rational curves, and then by the formula of rational curves, you will get a uh, high genius curve as well. So that's the for K3, which are elliptic, and the uh, the, the with uh, all with uh, infinite many automorphic. Now, uh, for uh, K3, uh, with uh, if you take a K3, which is uh, uh, well, arbitrary, so there's without any structure, especially if you just assume the the car rank is one. Uh, there's not much you can play around this. So the uh, the big uh, uh, breakthrough is by uh, Bogomol Hasashenko. So uh, the, the 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 most thing important thing about the uh, this uh, this result is the technique they introduce. It's by Keres uh, P reduction. So uh, what they prove is uh, the, you have many uh, racial curves uh, on uh, on K K three. With the car rank one, uh, with uh, genius of the this this uh, this, this K three uh, is two. So uh, the most important thing about their their, their work is actually introduction of this method is for the uh, Keres P reduction. So it's roughly uh, you can reduce the uh, the, the the statement uh, to uh, K three over Q bar, and then uh, you can you can do the reduction to Keres P, and then uh, using deformation to find infinitely rational curves. So uh, their result only works when X has genius two. So uh, when this is the double cover of sexted curve. So uh, the next uh, breakthrough is by uh, Jing Li and Lideke. Uh They can prove this using the same uh, method, but, but with uh, a lot of refinement. And they can prove that uh, this is true actually for uh, rank, uh, Picard rank is odd, okay? So it's uh, uh, with odd Picard rank, so if you look at the combining the previous uh, statements, uh, you see uh, the, the fact here is if uh, the Picard rank is big rank to five, uh, X becomes elliptic. So it's covered by the previous uh, Bogomol-Ruchinko result. And then uh, if, so the remaining case, uh, well, if you if you take uh, the uh, the uh, Jun Li, uh, well, uh, Li and Litka's result with uh, Bogomol-Ruchinko, and the remaining case is Picard rank two and four. And also in Picard rank four, uh, there's only uh, two cases which has in, uh, which does not have infinite many automorphisms or do, does not have any uh, elliptic vibration. So uh, the remaining case is basically rank two, okay, rank, rank two case. So uh, the rank two case, I, uh, we, uh, we uh, eventually just finished uh, uh, this rank two case. Uh, we, we show that not only for rational curves, uh, it's for any genius curve, any, any curves of genius G, and you can find infinitely such component of, of this uh, uh, severe variety. So, uh, well, th there's still a lot of questions you can ask here because uh, we have no control of this, of this L. So we don't even know uh, the, the, the things we, uh, where this is infinitely of L. We don't even know this L actually generates the ample cone. So whether you can say, I can find in, uh, I can find this L, uh, which uh, this this uh, VXLG is now empty, and with this L actually generate the ample cone. Uh, we don't know that uh, how they answer that question. So, uh, but in particular, if you uh, I can formulate this conjecture uh, is that uh, for any K3 surface over C and every very ample line bundle, uh, then this uh, well the, the, the survey variety is non empty. Okay, so we don't know how to prove this. So. It, uh, the, the existence is only for infinite, but we don't know what, what these are. So uh, it's, it's constructed by uh, the, 
well, we, we don't even know that uh, this L actually generates ample code. Okay, so these are the existence. So the, uh, the I think the next uh, logic question is uh, what uh, uh, these variety look like, right? So it's now empty. So what does it look like? So the first property is whether it's uh, irreducible. So uh, they, they, that's the conjecture about the severe variety. Again, uh, we ask uh, we we can only uh, well this this definitely going to fail for some special case three. So that's only for the general case three. So uh, you can ask this for any, uh, well, you can take the, ask this for any uh, very ample divisor, but uh, let me just strip this to uh, the primitive, uh, primitive polarized K3 and in the primitive class. So uh, the conjecture is for a, very, uh, for a general polarized K3, uh, by that I mean it's X with uh, polarized by ample line bundle. I require this L to be uh, ample and uh, uh, primitive, uh, primitive means it's not indivisible in the in the in the Picard group, and so uh, I expecting. Uh, of course, you, you cannot uh, you're going to ask the question when g is bigger than one because uh, when g equals to zero, uh, the dimension is zero, so it's going to be uh, never going to be irreducible. So uh, the conjecture here is if g is at least one, uh, then this uh, variety is expect to be irreducible. Okay, expect to be irreducible. So. Uh, this actually obviously true if you take uh, uh, if you if you take this uh, uh, the number of these uh, nodes okay if you take uh, the uh, this P A L minus G it's uh, the expect number of nodes of the uh, 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 curve in this uh, in this uh, variety if this is small uh, this is true because uh, uh, if you delta is small uh, the delta nodes uh, impose independent condition on the linear system so that's uh, when delta is small uh, that uh, this is true okay. So that's the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the conjecture. So uh, we, we try to prove some survey variety is uh, irreducible. So uh, where, where should we start? Okay, so uh, the, the proof of these kind of things like survey variety or more just space, uh, well, usually we look at the, the first such result, which is the Harris proof of uh, plane curves. So uh, we look at uh, the his proof. Okay, so that's the usually the starting point of these kind of uh, uh, statements. Uh, we look at the, the uh, what kind of things we get uh, technically borrow from his proof. So Joe uh, has proved that uh, the if you take the survey variety of uh, plane curves of degree d and g g, and this uh, this variety is uh, irreducible, is reducible. So it's it's a it's a classical result, and. Uh, we look at uh, when uh, whether we can just uh, carry his proof to case these surface. Okay, whether we can carry his proof to case these surface. So Harris proof consists of two parts. Uh, I will call this uh, one is uh, easy. Well, it's uh, it's easy part. Uh, the other is hard part. So the easy part is that uh, first. Well, uh, first is uh, if you're taking uh, rational curves on K, uh, on on P two. So uh, it's obviously irreducible because a rational curve is given by just three polynomials of degree D. So obviously it's irreducible. And uh, we need a little bit more uh, that uh, if you look at the monogamy group X on the nodes of rational curve, uh, that's, uh, that's monogamy is the four symmetric group. Okay, four symmetric group. So that's the, uh, the easy part. The easy part is uh, basically have a base a base case. The base case V D zero. It's irreducible. So that base case. Now the hard part is show. Uh, if you take closure of uh, V D G, okay, taking G bigger than to zero, uh, taking closure, uh, it always contain this component V D zero. So that's the hard part. Is mostly of this proof is actually uh, to justify it by degeneration. So that's the hard part. So the idea here is, um, I hope uh, if you can see this. So I try to avoid to write uh, uh, here. So uh, the idea here is, uh, for example, if you take uh, uh, V uh, four zero, so that's the quadric curve, uh, ratio curve, which have three nodes, okay? So the general member is like this, three nodes. 
Uh, now, uh, if I want to show like uh, the four V four one, that's a little bit curved with two nodes, so that's V four one. So, uh, so, 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 uh, when uh, this uh, deformed to a curve of two nodes, uh, basically uh, it will smooth out one node. Okay, so uh, the ge local geometry looks like uh, if you take, uh, say this is V, uh, say this whole thing is V uh, for one, and. The, uh, the the locus of v v four zero uh, it's like a triple node okay a triple point so this well, I think this is v four one and this point is a v four zero so that's a local picture of this v four zero system inside v four one so the the thing is. Uh, the, uh, the 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 second statement uh, first of all v four zero is irreducible, and uh, the, uh, the the uh, the nodes at uh, the three nodes of v v four zero are uh, actually uh, is trans uh, it's it's a, the 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 the, the monodial group acts uh, in as a four symmetric group on these three nodes so they change these three nodes so that that actually change all these uh, these uh, three uh, three sheets so it's it show that uh, this variety, if the closure is locally irreducible along these V four zero, so that's how he actually proved that. So every component of this one contain uh, a, a copy of this, well, contain this thing, and it's locally irreducible along this. So, so this V four V four one is going to be uh, irreducible. Okay, irreducible. So that's the uh, key strategy. So, so let's see uh, how do you, how do we actually carry this over to K three surface? Okay, carry this over to K three surface. So we basically uh, follow the same strategy. We need a base case. So the uh, well, we take base case is V D one. Okay, so that's the elliptic curve on K three. So show this thing is irreducible, and then uh, the hard part. Well, then the second part is show if you take uh, any genus bigger than one, the closure will contain this component of V D one. So that's the strategy. Of uh, K three, so if you want to carry this uh, this argument over to K three, uh, what we find actually uh, the situation will be reversed. So the first step actually is hard part. So the base case uh, for if you curve on K three, actually uh, the severe variety is uh, this case is actually at the hardest among the all these reversibility of this uh, uh, severe variety. So uh, it, the situation actually reversed. So uh, the first one uh, is hard. So this one is hard. So this uh, the to show that uh, the, uh, the the severe variety of elliptic curves on K three uh, this is reducible. It's 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 actually uh, it's a difficult part. So this one is a difficult part. The second part is not that bad. So uh, that's uh, already known. So every uh, if you take the, the closure of any uh, vx uh, vx lg, it will contain at least one elliptic curve. So uh, the, the the argument is uh, something like this. So uh, it's 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 based on the following. Uh, you take so the way uh, to show that uh, uh, you can actually uh, well uh, and any the closure contain uh, at least one in the curve. Uh, you look at this uh, the modular map. Uh, to uh, the modular space of curves. Okay, so this is H, and uh, this map actually is uh, a generic finite. So the image has dimension G. So the dimension of this H, a VXLG, a G. Okay. So then uh, there is a classical result of uh, D8, which said that the, there's no complete uh, complete variety inside this modular space of dimension G. So, so H of a VX LG, this is not a complete uh, in MG bar, okay? 
So it's not complete sobriety. So it will hit the boundary somewhere. So that means uh, in boundary of this uh, uh, the severe variety, uh, you pick up some uh, curves with lower gene. So that's the uh, that they can prove that the, 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 the second statement. So the second statement now is uh, easy, but the first statement become hard. It's, it's like a reverse situation uh, with Harris the plane curves. So so what's the uh, so what, what 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 we can do? Okay, so uh, so basically uh, to prove this, we don't have an easy uh, base case. We don't have easy base case. So the the base case with is the curve actually is the hardest. Okay, so it's not like uh, in the case of uh, plane curves. Uh, you have easy case of rational curves, which obviously is irreducible. So uh, what what we can do? So that there's a recent paper by uh, Bruno and uh, Lili uh, Kiza, and they uh, prove that uh, they claim this. So the if you take uh, a very general K3 surface apply K3, uh, uh, general K3, then this uh, this uh, severe variety is connected for all G, and uh, is irreducible for a large number. We actually almost they solve everything. Uh, for, for almost everything. Uh, well, the main case is G is less than three, basically, okay? So, well, uh, there's some gap in there too, but uh, I want to say uh, there's still a lot of new technique they introduce uh, is uh, quite useful. So there's, uh, they introduce these two new technique. Uh, one is, I call this uh, backward induction. So uh, for three variety, actually, uh, G could be one is the hardest case. So, but when G is very large, close to, to the, uh, the estimated genius. So when the delta of the nodes are very small, actually it's easy, okay? So actually it's known. I mean, uh, if the delta is one or two, then it, it, it is irreducible. So that's known. So what they do is try to uh, do induction backwards. So you, starting with high G and the reduce to the lower G. So from the uh, irreducibility or connectedness for G is large and reduces to a G is small. So that go backwards. So that's one thing. Uh, the other thing is uh, they, uh, they try to get, derive this uh, irreducibility from connectedness. So that's actually the thing I want to talk about. So, so, the, uh, the, so the, the method is uh, this derive this uh, irreducibility from connectedness. So that's the that's actual piece I want to talk about. So the, uh, So, uh, so uh, let's uh, ask a, a general question. So, if you if you know a variety is connected, how do you show that is it reducible? Of course, you need something else extra. So, uh, let a V to be a variety. Uh, then, uh, if we know it's connected, what's the extra condition uh, we need to make make it uh, reducible? Okay. So, uh, I was adding two conditions. So that's way actually what they uh, they suggest is uh, you need to sh show two extra things. First, you need it to be Cochumba calling. Okay, so actually, you can replace this by SS by S2. So, uh, you need Cochumba calling. Uh, the other thing is you need to be a smooth inclination one. So, if you have these three conditions, then it goes from connectedness uh, to irreducibility. So, a uh, connectedness usually is easier to handle than uh, irreducibility, uh, basically, because uh, when we prove this statement, we we'll want to do degeneration. So, when you degenerate, uh, the the severe variety will become reducible. Okay, so, but a connected still preserved in degeneration. So it's usually easy to prove something is connected uh, than uh, you reduce it. So if you know the connectedness, how do you actually derive this to be uh, this V is uh, irreducible? So that's uh, you need two additional condition. Uh, one is it's called Macaulay, and the second one is uh, V is smooth in collaboration one. So. Uh, if you have these three things, then we can say the V is connected with irreducible. That's from the Parshon's connectedness uh, principle. So the argument is, uh, is following. So assuming a V has a lot of components, right? A lot of components, uh, you can look at the intersection between two of them. So uh, because uh, this V is smooth in dimension one, well, uh, V is uh, called so it's obviously a pure, of pure dimension. So you, have, you don't have any funny things like uh, embedded components. So uh, any two components will intersect. Uh, well, if they intersect, uh, it must be co-dimension less than, uh, uh, as co-dimension bigger than two, because assuming this V is a uh, smooth in co-dimension one. So they, they, they cannot meet uh, along a sub-variety of uh, dimension, co-dimension one. So the co-dimension of the intersection has to be uh, at least two, right? 
So now if you remove this, uh, this insertion, uh, you remove a bunch of things which collaborate too. So there is this uh, harsh connectedness, uh, which says if you have Kokoma Macaulay variety, if you remove a subset of potential at least two, and you still get connect, uh, connectedness. Well, that's, uh, that's uh, the kind of job actually intuition is if you remove a point from C2, you still, these things still connected, right? Still connected. So that's the, uh, so then they, if you remove this uh, insertion between these com uh, components, you get something is connected. Uh, but if you it's, uh, if this is reducible, you get contradiction because if you remove this in, in section, obviously if you have more than uh, con uh, one comp uh, components, obviously this will becomes uh, uh, disconnected. Okay, so that's uh, how you derive from the uh, connectedness uh, to uh, irreducibility. So we need two extra things. Uh, one is Pahama Kali, the other thing is V is smooth in one. Okay, so. Uh, so roughly, uh, we want to do this for severe variety. Okay, so assuming we already know it's connected, assuming that uh, the DL result for the connectedness is right, uh, then uh, how do you get this irreducibility? Is we want to show first is uh, Macaulay, the other thing is smoothing collimation one. But uh, there's one thing. Uh, one thing is uh, uh, severe variety is actually not the good object to study because it's thing. Uh, well, it's 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 not smoothing function one, so it's too singular. So we, we look at the modulus modulus phase of of math. So uh, we look at uh, the uh, modulus phase of state map of genus G, two uh, X, uh, which had the uh, the 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 uh, the, with the the class of the image is in this L. Okay. So I call it uh, MG, uh, uh, MXLG, and uh, look at the open open part is the one dominate this survey variety. Okay, so look at this uh, uh, the 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 this, uh, this MXLG, which is the open part, which consists of normalization of curves in a survey variety. So that's the uh, the 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 uh, the, the modular space. Now uh, you look at this map from this MXLG to VXLG. So this one. Uh, you can easily see that it's one to one and on two, and uh, these these two actually are birational. Okay, it's birational morphism. Uh, so, but I want to emphasize it's not an isomorphism. Okay, so actually I made a mistake myself. Uh, I thought it's isomorphism. So I say everything uh, in terms of the severe variety. Actually, it's not. This one is not isomorphism. So the situation is something like the the the, the normalization of a cuspidal curve. So you still get these these as a homeomorphism, but they are not isomorphic as uh, as as schemes. So they are not these two are not safe. So uh, actually, the, uh, actually this is exactly uh, the norm uh, the normalization map. Okay, exactly normalization map. We'll see that this uh, MXLG is uh, normal, and uh, that's the normalization map. But these two are not safe. But as far as connectedness and irreducibility is concerned, uh, it really matter because uh, these two are homeomorphic. Okay, so that as as a topological space, uh, these two one to one and on two. So it's, it's a, a one thing is uh, irreducible, the other one is irreducible. So uh, this v, uh, VXLG is connected or irreducible, irreducible uh, if and only if this modular space is. Okay, so the, these two are uh, as far as uh, the reducibility is concerned, uh, these two things are safe. So we look at this uh, at this modular stack of uh, maps, and uh, there's some. Um, uh, let me just say uh, something which is known to almost everyone, uh, which is the, what's the tangent space for this uh, uh, the uh, tangent space to this modular stack stable maps? It's given by uh, the normal bundle. Okay, so that's the uh, the 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 tangent space, and then you have the objection uh, H1 and F. Okay, so the difference of them is the virtual dimension. But for KC surface, there are some twists for, for this virtual dimension, something we'll mention later. So that's the, uh, the, 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 risk, uh, the risk in space. Now, uh, what's the dimension? Well, uh, the dimension, uh, you can estimate using uh, the H0 and F, uh, so uh, the normal bundle of the map. And uh, this is given by, uh, if, uh, if the map is, uh, we call this unramified, uh, then this Latin would be G. Uh, if it's not, then uh, there is a uh, standard me uh, method by this, uh, uh, by, by the, 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 the uh, uh, Abarilla and Konaba's lemma, uh, which is uh, on, the, on, the general, uh, on the general member of this, uh, uh, this uh, modular space, uh, the torsion part does not contribute to the service tenure space. 
So you can model uh, the distortion, you still get estimate, okay? So the dimension is always less than G. So that's the, uh, the estimate of dimension. And also this is a local company section. Uh, I kind of, uh, I try to find the uh, locate uh, reference for this. Uh, it's kind of a little bit hard to find. So I just uh, formulate the, the argument myself. So the, the argument is using a twist family and uh, lifting everything to the help scheme. So uh, you can look at the, basically I taking the quotient of the help scheme, get the stack. So you can embed a curve. Uh, you, well, first you need uh, to get the right dimension. Uh, you have to using a twist family of KC surface. So the twist family is the central fiber is the K3 surface. Uh, the general fiber is not projective, okay? It's not projective. So then you can do the estimate. So once you get the right dimension, so by bound this in two, uh, two direction, uh, if you have this as the right dimension, then it's automatically, it's a local company section, okay? So that's from the deformation theory. If you have this, uh, the virtual dimension, same as the curve scheme, and then it's automatically a local company section. So, this MXOG is a local company section. And uh, so, so, well, then uh, because it's smooth over the stack, so the, the low, uh, this MXLG is also a local company section. Okay, so that's the, uh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, so you put this into uh, to, uh, to your general deformation, uh, it will get, uh, definitely get something which is with. It, yeah, it, it, it just abstract to its family. It's not, I mean, uh, you have some, I think in, in, in geometry, you have uh, different geometry, you have different ways to, specific ways to construct it to its family. But for me, it's just they can get general deformation, uh, a complex deformation. No, no, well, a, a general complex deformation, not, definitely not. Not, specific, uh, not specific to its family. As long as you have this property, then everything works. Okay, so uh, so so it's a local computer section. Uh, the other thing is, uh, well, uh, we have to uh, well, so that's fixed the one one piece of this puzzle which we need this thing to be a local computer section. And so it's 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 a uh, Uh The other thing is, one one this thing has smooth inclination one. So what's the smooth locus of this uh, modular space? Well, uh, if uh, the, if the F is unramified, okay? So it's automatically, uh, that's by the estimate I did before, then this normal bundle of this is going to be same as the canonical bundle of this C, okay? So the canonical bundle of C. So then uh, it's automatically smooth at the point, uh, but you can do a little bit more. Uh, it's not necessary, it's just uh, unramified. So uh, you can allow to have at most one double point. So if you have one double point, what happened here is, uh, the normal bundle will have a uh, torsion, okay? So, but this torsion is only have at one point. So it's only have one torsion at one point. So if you look at this normal bundle, it's given by uh, this, uh, the kind of KC twist by this negative P and plus uh, this torsion support at P. So that's the uh, normal bundle. And so you can compute this, uh, you can you still get G, uh, dimension G. So the service companion space uh, still have the right dimension G. So such F is also uh, a smooth point, it's also a smooth point. So allow the, uh, in the more just space of the map, you allow uh, the, 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 the curve has a double point, okay? A double, a double point is okay. Uh, if you treat double points, it's kind of tricky. So the one double point is still guaranteed to smooth. So that's the, uh, the, the, the observation. So you allow this curve, well, the smooth point uh, can consist, either this F is unverified, like uh, all all the singularity are nodes, and uh, all it can it, it can uh, most uh, almost all of them are nodes, but with one cusp, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. So that that's what that's how uh, we actually uh, do, do this uh, to prove that uh, well, this is still a work in uh, in progress. Uh, is uh, uh, we cl uh, we prove that uh, that more or less is expected. Uh, if you take uh, uh, well a general uh, subfamily of uh, sub, uh, uh, subfamily of this survey variety. Okay, so the we expecting every member in the subfamily uh, has uh, has uh, at most one cusp at, at most one cusp. So so that the, the way to do uh, formulate this is I can fix uh, g minus one general points and look at the the uh, curve of g, g passing through g minus one points. So that going to be uh, one prime family. So in this one pair family, every member 
uh, is nodal outside a cusp. Okay, at most cusp. So uh, we have uh, we uh, say we say it has at least uh, at least uh, P A uh, L minus G minus one node. Okay, so because uh, you're expecting uh, the 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 the, uh, the number of nodes is P A L minus G. So if you have uh, these many nodes. But the remaining singularity has delta invariant one, so that means it's either a node or cusp. So uh, the other the other way to say this is uh, every member of this uh, one parent family is uh, is an uh, is a node. Uh, well, has at most uh, one cusp. At most one cusp. Okay. So uh, the the case for genius group zero actually is known. Uh, that's every actually every rational curve is actually nodal. So, so some con uh, some consequence, okay? Some consequence is first of all uh, because I my comment is uh, if you have one cusp, uh, you still get this uh, moja space uh, is uh, smooth, okay? So uh, that means the moja space is smooth in condition one. So the moja space is still smooth in condition one. Now uh, you have you can uh, well you have this uh, CS criterion. Uh, if the if the variety is Macaulay and if it's smooth in condition one, uh, it's normal. So MGXL uh, is XLG is uh, is normal uh, local company section. Okay, so that's uh, uh, this uh, for for space. Now, what's the picture on the singular uh, on, on the survey variety? Uh, the thing is, uh, if you this curve has a cusp, uh, the uh, the local geometry at this cup cusp is also a cusp. It's sort of like a, it's, it's a tricky, uh, it's a kind of interesting interesting. Uh, if you look at the uh, the, the the single locus of XLG. It has called call emission one locus, uh, which has uh, which is custodial. Okay, so uh, the global well, if you cut this by high planes, you will get a cusp of uh, 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 well, if it will cut out uh, well, if you cut by g minus one high plane, you get a curve with a cusp. Okay, with cusp. So uh, the 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 corollary of this is uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, the issue of this uh, irreducibility is same as connected. So if you can prove connectedness, you prove the irreducibility. So if you're assuming uh, that the Bruno and the the keys are the paper is right, uh, then uh, then uh, this will finish the whole program. So, so that uh, connects will imply the irreducibility. Okay, uh, connects will prove uh, you will uh, we will, will actually uh, uh, the, the, the prove the uh, irreducibility. Okay, so uh, I think uh, how many minutes do I have? Five. Okay, five. So, uh, so let me just say a little bit about the proof. Uh, so the proof is by degeneration. It's, it's very close to the proof for the uh, rational curve uh, nodal, uh, which we specialize to this, uh, I call this the Bryce Young K3, uh, which is a uh, K3 with a minus two uh, section. So the advantage of this K3 uh, is, uh, it's very useful to study the previous class because the previous class will completely Become reducible. It breaks it breaks into uh, the section across uh, these n fibers. Okay, for this in the case three is c plus the n fibers of the uh, the deep fibration. So, so the the way uh, to show this is uh, by taking such a family. Then I take the family of corresponding curves uh, in this case three, and on the general fiber, it becomes this reducible thing. And the, to study the, the singularity. I had to blow up this family along these fibers F1 to FG and G1 to G24. Okay, so so that's uh, you have to study the local deformation of those uh, singularities. Okay, so I always skip the rest of them. Basically, uh, there a lot of this is involves some local study of uh, deformation of of, uh, of 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 singularities. So this is uh, one of these uh, theorem which is about tech node, and uh, uh, the usually uh, the usually uh, people. Uh, attribute to Kaplan to Harris, but actually on this one due to run. Uh, so the uh, it's it's about the uh, you have a tech node of all the M, uh, then the deformation of this all the M tech node uh, will becomes M minus one node. Okay, M minus one node. So our situation have to require uh, dealing with a little bit differently, uh, which has uh, at the rational double point. Uh, at that point, it just changes the equation a little bit. Uh, the the deformation of those things will becomes uh, one cusp with n uh, m minus two nodes and one cusp, so that's where this cusp comes from. So I, I think I should uh, I, I will stop here.
questions for the speaker? Uh, are there any questions on Zoom? Um, yeah, so um, there was one part where you said it was in progress. Uh, so so what was that what was that step you're you're still working on? So far on? we can prove that the, the singularity is unramified outside uh double point. Ah. Uh, so that, that will guarantee the more just phase is uh, Are, are there any games you can play where where you map between components of the series of very variety as you vary the L? That's uh, what uh, the, the, the Bruno's paper about. I mean, they they, they have the reduction from high key to low key, but uh, uh, that one has gas. Okay. No, I was just thinking you could take advantage of of, of the, the structure. I mean, since you're showing that they're not empty, yeah, and then you could take advantage of the structure of. I don't know. Play some game with line bundles. And, oh, line bundles. Uh, and, the lambda fixes. Well, I'm just saying you could go from one component to another and try to construct a map relating the severity varieties. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, uh, we're wishing that is well expected to be reducible, so there there won't be there there will be. No, no, I mean, I mean, for each L, you're getting extra power. Oh, right? yeah. And so, so then you could play games with actual maps between. One to one to one and one to one. Well, yeah, anyway, it's it's not your problem, but but it it, it just once you showed the non emptiness, okay, it seemed hey, why not? Any other questions? All right. Well, if not, let's thank you again.